Hey, welcome to another Copy AI Live demo. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to write social media content with way less effort pretty much instantly using artificial intelligence. This will be about a one hour live demo and Q&A to help you write better copy in less time with AI. We're gonna cover a few things today. Number one, five tips to grow your following and monetizing your social media. Um, write social posts in seconds with Copy AI. Uh, the freestyle tool is a great tool for that. I'll show you how to use it. I'll show you a tour, a quick demo of some of the new workflow tools. And of course, we'll dive into anything else that comes up. Uh, some of the other uh, really good ways to use Copy AI are for blogging, sales copy, uh, email writing, so much more. Oops, there we go. I'm going to show you here. Uh, what to look at when you get into copy AI. There's a lot of different tools to choose from. Today, we'll spend a little bit of time at the beginning on the freestyle tool. And I have an example here to share with you that could be really useful. Now on our last demo, I had a lot of questions about, hey, how could I use this for social media content? Can copy AI help me write up those posts that are really good for personal branding, being seen as an expert in your space, creating content that helps your audience, builds trust, and positions you as a thought leader. Well, here's a strategy to do that. So let's go ahead and look here real quick. And if you're joining me live, welcome. We've got a good crowd today. Thanks for being here. If you're here live, these demos are for you and I will prioritize any questions that come in. So I'd love to see who's here watching right now, what you're, um, you know, what you're up to with your business. If you have any questions right now, drop them in the comments. I will monitor that today and make this interactive. So the goal is to get you up to speed so you can put this amazing AI tool to work for your business. And if you can, tell me a little bit about your business, what you offer and who you help. Those are two key things to keep in mind when you are working with Copy AI is what are you offering? Like what is it that you actually do? Uh, what are you selling products or services and who is it for? And if you can be clear about those two things, the AI will help you write amazing content. So if you want to drop the, some of those uh, ideas or uh, quick information about your business in the comments, I will use you as the example today. And I have a bunch of other examples to share with you as well. I also will show you how I wrote the description for this content today using a tool called the SEO website copy. It's one of the new workflow tools over here on the left panel. This one's pretty cool because it'll actually optimize the content for SEO based on your keyword phrase and a quick description. That's how I wrote up the YouTube description here. So I'll share some of that with you. Cold outreach emails. We did a whole demo on that last time. And actually we had someone from Coyote Ugly in Liverpool. We did an example of pitching the CEO of Copy AI with a personalized email by pulling information from their LinkedIn account. So that's another thing you can do now with Copy AI. It's really cool. It'll write personalized emails to any LinkedIn profile, just with a quick blurb of what you're offering, what your business is all about, and what you want them to do. It can be really rough input like this. And in a few seconds, you'll have a beautiful email that is personalized for that unique individual. So that takes a, a few seconds for it to scan that profile, write the email, and then boom, check it out. I'll give you a second while that's coming in. What's up, Mike? What's up, Paul? Uh, let me show you this real quick. There, it tied in exactly to the the desires of this potential person based on what it knows about Paul because it scanned his profile and then pitched their event space to, um, to him in a way that tied back into what he might desire. So that's really cool that I can pitch your offer to an ind individual person with a personalized email that uh, resonates with that unique person. If you don't like it, you can click and it'll generate again. So that's a sales cold email workflow tool in the uh, beta workflow tool. So try that out sometime. It's pretty fun. And the last demo, we dove into that pretty deep. So today I'm going to focus a lot on social media content, but let's see here. Comments coming in. Uh, NLP feature. Yeah. Paul, what are you looking for there? NLP feature. 
nothing specifically for that. But let me know like what use case you would like to see um, how that would be applied. Give me some more details. I'll try to help you out. Let's see. Nonprofit school used for blog enrollment grants. What's up, Mike? All right. Any other details would be helpful. Uh, email as well. All right. Very cool. Web3 entertainment startup most interested in developing extensive website copy. Okay. Very cool. That's awesome. Web Web3 entertainment startup. Okay. Let's try that in a second. So we'll spend a few seconds here on the social media content. Uh, I wanted to show you this as a starting point because this right here can save you a lot of time and get you some amazing results. So if you go ahead and open up the freestyle tool in Copy AI, you can search for it over here in the left navigation just by typing in freestyle and that will pop right up. You can use this tool. What I told it to do is, uh, what am I looking to create? A social media post to share helpful, uh, a helpful tip to my audience. What are the main points you want to cover? Now, this is where the input really matters here. So something like this, I, what I said is the topic and I came up with a random topic. We'll try some other ones. Virtual event planning tips for businesses and organizations to plan and execute virtual events such as conferences, trade shows, and webinars. All right, that's a random example. Let's see what it can do, right? I also gave it some guidance here. The goal of this post, I reemphasize some of this, share helpful tips and engage my followers. Writing style, this is another idea to tell the AI a little bit more about what you want. Engaging, conversational, social, casual. And I came up with a tone here that's helpful just to keep it on track with the tone. But you can choose from some really fun tones down here that are pre-built. Or you can type in whatever you want and try out some things, poetic, techy, goofy, and just type in whatever you want here. And it will try to write in that style. It's very subtle, but it can make a nice um, difference in your content. So if I click create content, you'll see here a fresh batch of content based on that input. This is a strategy I would implement for yourself. If you want to create more social content, try this out. Here you go. Let's see what we came up with. In just a few seconds, it gave us all of these ideas. All right, so you can scan through and get a few different ideas really quick. So let's see what the first one looks like. When you're planning a virtual event, you've got to keep in mind that you're not just trying to get people to show up, you're also trying to get them to stay engaged, planning about the little details. Um, this is a great post. This sounds really good. You as the expert can go in here and edit that down and tweak it, but I like that one a lot. It sounds great. It's got a good uh, tone, energy to it. I could save that. It goes up here into a saved section here on the uh, this project. Or I can use the editor on the side to copy this and paste it over here. And I can edit that down further. You can also edit it within this section too, if you want. But uh, the editor on the right side has additional features. So if you wanted to rewrite maybe this first section, you didn't love it. If you highlight a section in the editor, you can actually rewrite it right there. It gives you a few different ideas of how to say that. And you can just scan through. Maybe you want a better hook. You know, you could do something like that, swap it out pretty easily. Or if you have a, a little more um, content you want to add, at the end of a section, you'll notice over here, it says press tab to write more. And that's a really nice feature. You can also press tab and it will add a little bit more content in there and give you some ideas of what could be included in that section. It does scan some of the text before and after to uh, create content that fits in there nicely. All right, so you just pop that in. and have a little more content added. And that's really what you do here with Copy AI. It's you, you work here in this middle section here, telling it what you need and generating content. And you can scan through this. You can continue to click create content as many times as you want. It gives you fresh original content each time. And the cool thing too, is that it gives you multiple results. So you can scan through and be like, well, I like that one. I don't like that one. You can grab bits and pieces from one or the other. Scan it real quick, see what jumps out to you as well. So you can just keep scroll real quick. This one looks nice and punchy for social media. I like how it starts with a question here. Really dives into the problem. So any topic you put in here, it will do a good job. And you see it's doing a good job here because I gave it enough context around what's going on. So if I grabbed another example, uh, let's just try the uh, Web3 Entertainment Startup. Um, I wonder what kind of tips you could share here. Maybe a little bit different, but let's try Web3 Entertainment.
this could be interesting if you want to be an expert on that topic. I'd be really curious to see what it comes up with for that topic. All right. Not sure about that one to use. <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit tricky. So how would you, I guess it'd have to be more specific if you were trying to be an expert in that space or be seen as a thought leader, it's a different kind of approach here. So I'd have to be more clear on what that actually means. And that's kind of a pitch as to what you're doing. Phishing scams. Interesting. I don't know. It's, it's having a little bit uh, tougher time with that. So this may be more useful for like, let's say career coaching or something. And you could just say something like this topic, career, um, coaching, let's see, helping something like this. So if it's, so if it's a little bit more broad and it's uh, educational based and you want to share helpful tips, this could be a way to do that. So in this case, helping individuals navigate their career paths and reach their professional goals. That would be a good topic if you're a career coach. So let's scan down here. All right. So you see it's, it's doing a good job with that type of topic. All right. So it's a few, a few good tips here. Sometimes it runs out. As you see here, it kind of just timed out. It can only write so much at once. If you copy that and drop it into the editor, this is a way to finish that up. So if you have a post that is pretty close and the very end, it kind of ends um, abruptly. You can just click tab and it will finish that thought. See the one that you like, I'll just pop it in. And that could be a good ending point. It actually added another one here. So pretty good that finished up the thought. All right. So that's a quick tutorial here on how you could use the freestyle tool. I want to share this with you guys today because it's a fast win. Tell it what you're looking to create a social media post to share helpful tips or a helpful tip to my audience. What are the main points you want to cover? Give it a topic. If you can be clear on what it's, you know, the topic, and then maybe even specifically who it's for, who you're trying to talk to the situation that they're in and the goal of the post. Tell it you want to share helpful tips and engage with my followers and the writing style seems to work pretty well. If you tell it you want it to be engaging, conversational, social, and casual. All right. So I'm going to pause there and see if we have some uh, questions coming in that we'll try to explore some of the other examples today of what you can do with copy AI for your needs. All right. Let's see. I do affiliate marketing um, and the precious metals niche. Let's see. Can you provide an example of how to use copy AI to encourage someone to invest? Yeah. So, um, let's see topic investing in precious metals, hmm. like gold and silver bullion coins. So let's see here, let's see the benefits of investing. So that could be a topic, right? Let's see how it handles that one. Now I'm no expert at this, but you would have to be the judge, right? You as the expert, you're going to have to scan through these results to see which ones you like before you post it and always double check any facts or stats because that right as of right now, the AI isn't double checking all that for you. So you need to edit the final little bit, but it should give you from nothing to some ideas really fast. All right. Interesting. Let's keep looking here. We know that a lot of you are looking for a way to diversify your portfolio. So it's talking about the benefits there of diversifying your portfolio, market volatility. It's explaining a little bit, kind of uh, like you said, introducing this. So trying to get them and persuade them to consider this and take action. <clears throat> That's a good hook right there. It's going to speak directly to that person. All right, so it's bringing up some benefits here, some points. 
And some of these are a little bit quirky. You don't have to like use that intro, but it gives you ideas of like how you can hook them in because social media is all about grabbing their attention. But that's also applies to email copy, um, even sales page, video scripts. It'll give you ideas of how to grab their attention. All right, intro content. That's a really good hook right there. Like that would be great for a video too. Can you imagine that, right? If you're looking to invest in precious metals and want to get started with gold or silver coins, there are a few things you should know. Boom, nailed it. First of all, boom, second. And again, if you want more from that, grab it, go over here, pop it in and let's click tab. Finally, so it gave us the final one there. And you can scan through to see which ones you liked. All right, so that's a quick win. If it's not quite on track, you could say the benefits, uh, maybe like key point. If you wanted to focus on one benefit in particular, you could just say, um, what, what was one key point? Stockpile, let's see. If we grab one of the benefits, protect yourself from market. So if we want to focus on that, let's say you had something in mind, you could say something like key point, and that would have it focus more on that. So all the results then would have an emphasis on that point. It may help you expand on that idea. So if you had like a week, you wanted to focus on one key point, but you wanted to say it in a few different ways, you can just keep running it through here, create content. And you may grab a few, like maybe hooks on that. Let's see. <laughs> Plus they look pretty cool on your shelf, <laughs> right? It's, it's hitting that really well. So you see a few different, um, ideas to pull from. All right. So you can also just niche down a little bit more into what you want to focus on. If it's feeling too broad or all over the place, you're like, no, I actually wanted to focus on this. Sometimes seeing the results will help you be like, oh, actually I wanted to talk about something a little bit different or uh, narrow in on one key point. All right, let me know if that helped Paul. Let's see. Matthew, hey, equipment finance startup wanting to create a social media presence. All right, equipment finance startup. All right, don't have much manpower to be able uh, to hire someone. Cool, well, I wonder if this would help. So equipment uh, topic, equipment, I guess it would be important to know who is the equipment for? Is it for like restaurants? Is it for like video studios? So equipment finance startup, um, equipment financing for equipment financing tips and advice to business owners. That would be the key here is who are you? really talking to and what are you talking about? So if you want to show up as an expert at this topic, really, you're just trying to tell the AI, I want to share some equipment financing tips. Let's see how it handles that. Yeah. Lead magnets. Good question, Michael. What you may consider doing is this freestyle tool is one way to do it. You could say, uh, I'll show you in a second here, how you could potentially do that. All right, so here's some like intro tips. Are you ready for this? The other thing to look at, if you're just looking for topics in general, this is going to write out the whole content, but if you wanted some ideas of what to actually write, let me go, go, ahead, go ahead and open up a new project here. We'll just create a new project and I'm gonna use the freestyle tool here. I'm gonna tell it, we'll do that same thing, topic, say a list of 10 blog article titles to attract my ideal customer. You can even say ideal customer is, and basically it's, we already told it, small business owners. <laughs> if you were more clear on that, that would help. So let me see, construction, trucks, trailer. Okay, cool, thank you, Matthew. So let's see.
and financing tips. Um, let's see. What don't we do? Construction trucks, trailers. Even just a really rough input like that, it should be able to handle it. So what kind of topics? It should know that I like and I have an idea of who I'm talking to here. Let's see. How to get the best deal on a trailer for your construction company. So see it, the AI actually figured out probably targeting a construction company here. Five things you need about financing and equipment purchase. Look at all these topic ideas, how to choose the right commercial truck for your business. So let's grab this one. Five things you need to know about uh, financing and equipment purchase. All right. So I could save these and get a list of topic ideas. So if you're looking for what kind of content should I write, just doing this here, telling it, I'm looking for a list of 10 blog article titles to attract my ideal customer. And you tell it what are the main points you want to cover. Really, we're just saying the topic here of what you're talking about. That's enough to get the AI going. And now just scroll down and get an idea of what would be interesting to your customer. How to get the best. Um, best rate possible. That's definitely going to grab their attention. Make sure you're getting the best deal on your trucking equipment. Yeah, they're all pretty similar. If we drop that in here, let's say topic. If we're more clear, five things you know about financing equipment purchase. Let's see. Let's do the the uh, same thing here. Um, focus. So I'm just using this other project here. So the topic, then construction, trucks, trailers, equipment, financing, tips, focus, five things. Let's try that out and see how it can handle that information. But the idea here is you would grab uh, different topics like that. If you found things you wanted to focus on, you could guide it a little bit further. Not required. You can see it can still handle a lot of that for you, but let's take a look here. Lots of different tips popping up when it comes to finding a lot of options and a lot of questions. Here are five things you need to know. So the question about doing a lead magnet, this is one, this is how you could create a lead magnet. You could just expand on some of these topics, right? You could have the AI actually write up how to get pre-approved. Um, have it actually expand out on those. But if you wanted an overall like freebie, whether it's a video or a download, this could be a good place to get the content outlined for a freebie. Some of these are pretty interesting. Some of the benefits can help you save. Know your options. All right, so a lot of content ideas to help you engage your audience with some value. Hey, Michael, health and wellness niche. All right, perfect. Uh, let's see website copy development. So one thing there is I would check out the, um, the new workflow tools. This is a good starting point. Uh, the new SEO website copy, try that one out. These workflow tools are a little bit more advanced in that they can pull from some outside sources. So you saw the example of pulling it from LinkedIn profiles. And the SEO tools now, and a new one coming soon is going to be the SEO content brief, which analyzes the best keywords for you and writes up a brief to help you with that. The SEO website copy will write some website content. And this is pretty cool. You may want to try this out. You can give it the target SEO keyword. You can give it a description of your company or website. Let's go ahead and try an example here of that career coaching. And these examples that I have are just uh, ideas of what to tell the AI. So the name, in this case, the name of the company, the description of what you do, who you help, anything unique about it. 
And let's just say the target keyword here is career coaching services. How about that? And down here, this is where you have the ability to tell it what to include. And you can actually be pretty cre creative with this input. Let me just remove this so you can see what the team put in here as an example, like short hero, subheader, short call to action, catchy tagline. You can actually give it just a list of things you want to write all in one go. What I wrote here was I gave it this kind of structure, H1 sales pitch, uh, paragraph H2 for FAQ section, five FAQ questions and answers, H2 engaging question. So if you have an idea of what the web page needs, you can actually just plug all that in, give it some rough info about the offer or the business, give it the keyword phrase you want to focus on, and let's see how it does, all right? So the info here is they want to change their careers, recent graduates looking to advance their careers, navigate the career path, helping them identify strengths and opportunities. All right, how did it do? Now, sometimes it may error, error. that's why it's in beta right now. It's a little bit, it's, it's doing a lot more computation here. So sometimes it does error out. Usually after a couple of clicks, you'll get it to work. It's just a timing. Sometimes I, the AI right, right now runs out of steam and can't process that much information. So the team's working on this at the moment, but it still works most of the time. Ah, okay. If it is doing too much there, we could remove some of the inputs here and shorten that up a bit. That seems to help. And while that's going, I'll just give you an example of how I use that for SEO descriptions. I gave it the inputs here for a, uh, or for a YouTube description. So I told it for today's video, social media content, quick description of the video. And then here's the input I used and it wrote up all those sections, follow my instructions perfectly, including the a paragraph to explain the video, a question to kind of hook them in the H1, the title of the video call to action. I even had to do a list of 10 keywords. So I did all that in one go, but I guess we're timing out. That's a bummer. I haven't actually had a timeout at all in the past. So maybe it's just at capacity right now. That's the only challenge with these new tools is uh, copy AI now has over 5 million users. So some of these uh, heavy load tools get a little maxed out at times. All right, well, let's come back to that, but at least you could see how it followed the, the instructions here, including really you can get creative on what you wanted to do. A list of 10 hashtags that actually did that, keywords all in one click. So what I do now for every YouTube video is I just drop in what I want the, um, the uh, you know keywords to be, a description, I just keep the same thing in here and I just keep opening that project and just swap these out and it actually knocks it out really quick. So let me know if that helped with SEO. Sorry, the demo didn't work for us right now. Maybe we'll try it later, but it should work for you. Give it a shot. Direct mailer advertising. Okay. Let's see Kyle, um, within the HVAC industry. Okay. I would probably try doing a, a freestyle tool here. So let's go back to the homepage, copy.ai, you can log in. I'll zoom out a little bit here. It's getting a little too zoomed in. Okay. You can create a new project or just click on freestyle here. Let's try it out. So uh, direct Miller advertising copy um, industry. We just did that. It'll it'll probably handle it pretty well. We could probably use a persuasive tone here for this type of copy. Direct mailer advertising copy. I'm not giving it much to work with, but the AI is very smart and can handle even just a minimal input like that. If you had specific details about the offer, that would be worth <laughs> including.
All right, that's a little rough. Let's keep looking down. Time to create. It's time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What happens when our system doesn't work? Okay, we didn't think so. It's trying here. It's giving us some different angles. It's bringing up potential pain points, problems, introducing the solution. I'm trying to do the right thing. That's some of these are pretty interesting as far as copywriting. It's definitely picking up on like direct mailer content. Uh, let's see, AC, here we go. That's definitely better for the input industry. All right, so um, let's say offer AC um, change outs with, there you go. Change, how do I spell that? Change outs with the summer months approaching. Here we go. Now that is going to be much better. Persuasive is always good with sales copy. All right, there's there's an idea. But the cool thing is scan down to get a few. Get ready to cool off the summer with a new AC unit. With the summer months approach, it's time to get your ready for the heat. What better way to do that than by installing a brand new offering a limited time promotion? So if you had details about the offer too, it could you could put that in the input. It's time to get your AC ready for the summer. If you're looking for an easy way to save money in your bill and keep your home cool, it's time. That's a great pitch right there with the hot summer the front sound time. Now is a great time to make sure you have a system in place. Keep comfortable all season long. When the summer heat hits, your AC is going to be running over time. But what if you can get an annual change out and save yourself the hassle of doing it yourself? Interesting. We'll change out your old unit. This is kind of making up what the offer might be. That's that's what you'll notice some like holes in your input you're like well the ai doesn't quite know what i'm offering is it say an annual thing is there what what else could you tell it that would help it speak more clearly so you could even say uh region you could say like maybe it's miami right you could even say uh target customer homeowner and families even just a little bit more detail like that will now cater the AI to speak more to that person. So I'm just giving it really rough info. And there it is speaking a little more to protect your family. All right. What are the reasons they care about this? not seeing any regional stuff but sometimes it can pull up if it's miami based it might weave in something a little bit different there and that'd be interesting too for seo content if you were doing an offer like that miami um ac youtube let's see if we can get that uh sales page Love to get that to work with that career coaching one. All right, I'm gonna take a look at questions. Can it generate content ideas for Facebook, internet, TikTok, for example? T view a company that sells modern wide screens. Yeah, let's uh let's try it out. Ah, that we're getting that air. Well, I'll check with the team to see what's up probably just maxed out with the new beta tools okay let's try uh the let's go back here to the same concept using the freestyle tool you can tell it a list of 10 uh let's do social media post ideas and this is a fun one what is this tv <laughs> um, let's try t view um a company here we had a topic uh let's say topic 
have to think about it in terms of what your customer cares about. So it's modern widescreen TVs. Uh, you know, buying a new modern wide screen TV. I wonder if it if that topic. So a list of ten social media post ideas to attract my ideal customer topic. What kind of things may come up? The best TVs, best way to set up, how to get the most out of your TV, what you should know. Tips for buying a modern, um, how to buy an affordable, how to choose the right TV for your home, the best movies to watch on your new TV, three tips for choosing, what to do before buying, five reasons you shouldn't. <laughs> Those always get people's attention. How much does it cost? Where can you find cheap? <laughs> the size matter how big should it be? <laughs> That's hilarious. How to choose for your room. These are good. I think these are all great. All these are super interesting. So now you have tons of content ideas uh, just by brainstorming. So you, the freestyle tool can help you brainstorm what kind of topics should I be sharing? And just by thinking about what topic would be relevant here, buying a new modern widescreen TV for that example. All right, got some more questions here. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see here. I lost my connection. Very little uh, issues. Downtime is very low. There are occasional hiccups with uh, with AI, and, and oftentimes it's not copy AI's fault. It's some of the AI providers on the back end that go down at times, but overall the status is pretty much always available. So you shouldn't have hardly any outages with copy AI. Maybe the new beta tools as I was showing you, these are a little bit more heavy uh, load on the system. So that's probably why we're getting this error here, which is a bummer. I'd love to demo that, but that's why it's in beta. Otherwise everything else should be running pretty smooth. Yeah, tone, definitely persuasive, formal, the length of the copy. Right now, the, the length isn't quite able to be customized. That will be coming soon, though, and that's where some of these new beta features are more specific with following commands and instructions. And that's where the AI is getting smarter, and it should take a big leap in the next month or two as well in how it can comprehend what you need and get you exactly what you're looking for. So there's going to be some big leaps and bounds very soon with the ability to be more precise with what you want. And that's actually what these new beta tools are testing is telling it exactly the structure. Again, the example here where I gave it really detailed structure of what to do. And you can see here, it understood that and could comprehend it really well, including specific things. So it's getting smarter at understanding what you need and doing that for you. And that's just going to improve drastically in the next few months. This year, you're going to see a big leap. By the end of 2023, it's going to be a whole new ball game, and, and Copy AI is building out some amazing new tools to take advantage of the improvements in AI. Uh, R, I didn't see a finish to that one there. Uh, yes, yeah, so right now, Paul, they're not all saved at the moment. There is, uh, the team's working on adding a history option, which will show previous generations. I'm not sure where that is. It's been, they've been working on it for a few months at least. So I'm not sure where that's at right now, but coming soon, you do have the option to save things manually using some of the other tools. So if we see here, when you're scanning through the results, you can save all of those. And the way you'll find that is in each project, you'll have the saved tab up here so you can find any saved content. All right, if I missed any questions, let me know, drop a comment. I'm gonna pause there and uh, just finish up a few thoughts that I shared earlier. Five tips uh, to grow your following and monetize your social media. I wanna share those real fast, just a fun little tip here for you. All right, take a pause here, five tips. Number one, 
have clear goals. This is super important. Social media should be seen as a marketing channel to spread your message, grow your business, not a platform to waste time comparing yourself to others. So what are you doing on social media? What's the purpose? We've talked about that today. Providing value to your audience, right? Share helpful tips, position yourself as the expert, as a leader, as a trusted source. And you saw how to do that with Copy AI. Share your experience. People are drawn to content that is relatable, helpful, and engaging. Create such content, simply share your own experiences, stories, and opinions. And that's how, if you drop in some basic details in the Copy AI, you can actually weave that together into a nice narrative. So if you just have a few things you wanted to um, you know, bring together, you have a, an idea that you're not quite able to articulate, run it through Copy AI and watch what it can do. It can pull that out and make it sound way more professional. Post frequently. So to grow your social media presence, it's important to post multiple times a day if possible, especially on platforms like Twitter. There's no specific time slot for maximum engagement. So your goal should be to publish as much as you can uh, just to get out there and test, right? So get content out there. If you're not posting, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to change. And if you're struggling to write that much content, well, Copy AI can help you do that. Focus on quality as well. So while volume is important, it's also crucial to create high quality content that resonates with your audience. So the more you share and collect data, which means the more you try things, put it out there, see what feedback you get, the better you'll understand what type of content your followers prefer. So if you're not sure right now, try things, run it through the freestyle tool to see if it can give you ideas, post content out there, find different ways to share that content, but never be stuck and staring at a blank page ever again. Get a tool like Copy AI to help you brainstorm, put the first draft together, get content out there, and improve. And then finally, leverage your following, use your social media following to drive traffic to your website, email list. That's where freebies, opt-ins can come in and Copy AI can help you write that content as well. Maybe it's a, a video training that you put together. Ultimately, you're turning your social media presence into a source of revenue, right? That's why you're doing it. For most of you, it's all about driving them to an offer, uh, but they're going to be more likely to listen if you're providing value and are a trusted source. So why should you use Copy AI? Speed to first draft. This will help you save time, reduce stress, and boost productivity. Maybe even have fun doing this. What I always say is like get a cup of coffee, sit down, and by the end of that cup of coffee, you can have all these ideas written up and you'll be off and running and be so much more productive. It's really good at a few things, all right? So it can help you write better content faster, including blog content, social posts, as I showed you today, website copy, some of the new tools there. Couldn't demo that today. It's uh, definitely a beta feature, but the website copy is getting better and better, especially for SEO. So try that out. Uh, ad copy, we saw some examples today. You can just tell it exactly what you're trying to write for. Uh, the direct mailer was doing a pretty good job of that, understanding the context and how to get someone's attention for your offer. Emails are really good. I'll show you some more on that today. And then many other uh, use cases, now over 5 million professionals, which is a big deal because now Copy AI has a huge data set of information that is training the AI on. So in the next few months, you'll see more and more improvements there uh, beyond just what other AI tools might have with really one of the most popular AI writing tools on the planet. Copy AI has a lot of data to pull from that's going to benefit you in the long run because it's learning what's working for other people like you and it can help you uh, make better decisions and uh, build out an entire workflow to grow your business without having to think about it too much. So that's kind of the future where Copy AI is going is it's going to not only create some content for you, but also guide you and help now help you navigate the best path forward to reach your goals. So that's all coming down the pipeline. The AI is getting smarter and smarter and it's going to save you more and more time in the coming months and years. The three things it's really good at, it's really good at selling stuff. Okay. It can just sell the heck out of anything. So it's fun to see it try to write sales copy, persuasive content. Uh, it's a great at identifying the pain points and then helping position your product or service as a solution to their pain points. Uh, writing general educational content about anything. You saw some of those examples today, how you can just put in a topic and it can come up with tips or insights or step-by-step -step guides. Your job is to validate whether that's a good idea or not, right? Especially health and wellness kind of topics. You do need to have your ex your own expertise and edit this content before you share it. It's very important that you do that. Uh, and then finally, we also saw some examples of how I can uh, brainstorm and do some market research and help you figure out what content may resonate with your audience. And even just brainstorming, um, you know, who your customers should be. It can even describe 
your customer for you. If you'd give it a topic and say, hey, give me some ideas of who this product could be for, or give me some product ideas that would help this target customer. All of that can be done with AI. It has so much information at its at your fingertips. Your job is just to interact with it. So practice talking to the AI, working, working with it to get what you need. It is plagiarism free for the most part. Uh, this is original content. So it is the way it's designed is it's writing each word from scratch. So it's not just grabbing stuff and pasting it in here. It is a, you know, an actual AI generated content. The only times we've really seen plagiarism is if it's very common descriptions of things that can't really be that nuanced. And uh, as far as being detected for AI right now from third party testers out there, copy AI is ranking the highest for originality scores for human quality scores. And that's one of the biggest emphases with copy AI is having a little bit more of a human tone, a uh, more creative angle to how it writes. It's less robotic and more uh, natural sounding. And you, there's some proprietary AI technology with copy AI to do that. So that's a, that's kind of a rundown here of what copy AI can do for you. We'll spend the next 10 minutes or so answering questions and I'll share a couple more examples here. All right, let's see what we got. All right, a wellness book. Let's take a look at the blogging tools that may be useful for you. When it comes to writing books, we've had, um, we actually had a book writing expert on recently and he was really excited about the blogging tools. So the blog post wizard is pretty awesome. You could follow similar steps that we came up with earlier. So a list, um, an outline for a book. Let's see here. I mean, wellness is super broad. Uh, outline for a book. Let's see, topic, um, you know, how to sleep better, uh, target audience. We'll say, um, who could it be? Uh, we'll just say moms. I don't know. I would try to get way more specific on that with an input. If you have a book idea in mind, but can it come up with the outline? That would be step one. Let's see what it comes up with. Science of sleep, um, bad habits. You get ideas here for different topics. Let's see here. This one looks a little bit more thorough. How to sleep better, why you need to sleep. Take care of your body, mind at bedtime, activities, getting rid of distractions. Okay, so as far as an outline, this would be step one. I would get the outline dialed in. Introduction, it's giving us uh, some ideas here of what that could look like. So again, you can scan through, grab some ideas. Cool, put your outline together. Now let's say um, we wanna write this part of it. Introduction, why sleep matters and how it affects our lives. So what I would do now, if that was my intro, and Paul, no, you can't have a specific set amount right now. That that will be coming down the pipeline, but that's uh, that's going to be tough at the moment because five thousand words is a little beyond what the AI can write in one go right now. So you'd have to break it up into sections. So kind of like what I'm doing right now is, in the case of a book, you would get let's say 10, 15 chapters outlined. Now, how do you go ahead and start writing each chapter? Well, let's go ahead and use the blog post wizard, and this could be a good useful tool for you. Blog title, let's say why sleep matters and how it affects our lives. If that's the intro to your book, I would also add a few different things here. So target audience, let's say how to sleep better uh, for um, busy moms, why sleep and how it affects our lives. Okay. If that's the intro, what we're using here is the blog post wizard to let's say write a chapter for a book. Keywords, you can even ignore that. Tone, we can use a helpful or empathetic maybe here. Let's see, empathetic. So what it does here is it takes this title and it breaks it up into some sections, all right? So it gave us some great section ideas. This is really nice. All right, that looks good. Let's continue. Now, what talking points could we have in each section? Immune system, fight off infections, repair itself, function properly, recover from surgery. These are awesome. Let's see, solve problems, make decisions. So now we have just 
different sections of, let's say, this intro chapter. And we have uh, points that we can hit. So just like that, in like two clicks, there's so many topics. And this could be useful for social media content as well, right? You can imagine, wow, I have so many ideas of what I could talk about. So again, diving deeper into your area of expertise and then having the AI do this planning for you and giving you just so many great points that you could hit and make. All of these could be turned into individual social media posts, right? Uh, benefits of sleep, better for your memory. This is important for learning. Um, remember more of what you learn, develop new skills. Like that's a whole different angle that we just dove into here. Weight, that's super interesting. Metabolism, mood, productivity. These are awesome relationships. I mean, it's hitting all these key points that I wouldn't have thought about, right? If you're like, I don't know why sleep matters. You have to sit there and like do research and think, but boom, it does the research for you in just one click. Now the next section here is it will actually generate the content for you as a first draft. This is really a draft. Um, I think in the near future, this will be even better with how it writes all this content. You see some of these sections are pretty short. It's trying to hit some of the points, but let's take a look here at the intro that it wrote. You can imagine if writing a book, if this was the intro chapter of the course of my life, I've come to realize that sleep is not a luxury, but a necessity. It's something we all need, regardless of how busy you are, or how, or what responsibilities we have. And yet every day I see moms like me who don't prioritize the basic human need. We put ourselves last on our own list because everything else seems so much more important, work, kids, activities. I mean, look how well it's introducing this topic and it's really pulling that empathetic tone, right? It's talking about problems, maybe why they're struggling. Um, they're not tackling the challenge. All right, let's see here. Sleep is uh, the immune system. How did it weave that together? Remember we had these talking points. How did it weave all that together? The only time your body can repair and heal itself. If you're not getting enough sleep, this process slows down. When we're ill or injured, our bodies need the extra rest to recover from illness or injury. And if you don't get the extra rest, not inadequate sleep. Uh, if you don't love it, you can regenerate it. You can even write more and it will analyze some of these points that maybe it didn't hit on yet. Poor sleep is not sleep to weight gain. So it's a little off topic there. And if you don't like it, you can regenerate it. So what it's doing here is it's factoring in the goal of the entire blog and it's factoring in the section that it's in and the talking points. This means that the next time you come down to something like that. All right. So if we scan through here, it gives you all that plus a conclusion. That conclusion, eh, I'm not loving it. I would probably try a few more, but that's what you do at this stage. And so a few things here to consider all those talking points. I think this is one of those valuable things about the blog post wizards, just getting ideas of like, what could I talk about? What could I, what could I include? In conclusion, da, 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 that a, that's a better conclusion right there. Let's go to the next step because now you can see it all written out. And this is a thousand words in the bottom left here. Each section kind of mapped out. And you can go in and edit that down. You can even use some of the tools like press tab to write more and add on some content. Oops. So that's a quick tour of how you can use the blog post wizard, very popular tool within copy AI. And one thing I would love, uh, or I like to do as well is the button up here at the top. You can actually take those and you could say a, a section of a blog article, if that's what we're trying to write. And we go into freestyle tool. We say blog topic or blog title. I just added that for busy moms so it has more context. Not that that would be the title, but just so the AI knows. We can say the uh, section title. And just by adding in that section, if we went with that empathetic tone, it'll give us more ideas. And so maybe this was not quite up to par. You want to enhance that content or get some other ideas.
some of these may be better for you. And just scanning down to get a bunch more ideas. All right, not bad. You can just keep clicking. So another way to just start to enhance or expand, and all of these could become, again, social media posts. Each one of these could become uh, more content to share. All right, I'm going to pause there. Let's take a look. Final questions. Uh, last chance for Q&A, so I'll stick around here for another minute. And while I do that, let me show... Let's see here, the blog SEO. Um, this is another fun one if you're writing blogs, that SEO website copy tool. Let me hide myself here. So in the workflow, the SEO website copy, if you are a blogger, you may have some fun with this, how to be more productive. I just put in the target SEO keywords. The description, a blog article for entrepreneurs, business owners, and professionals. And I just gave it uh, basically a, a breakdown of the entire blog of what I want. I'll try creating it. I know we were getting some uh, errors earlier with this beta tool here, the SEO website copy. But if you are a blogger, you'll understand what I did here with the paragraphs like so H1, some H2s, and then I had a conclusion at the end and a bunch of paragraphs in between. Let's see, I'm hoping this works. May just not be our day right now. There we go, all right, it pulled that one off. Again, it's a beta feature, so it might've been timed out earlier, but website copy, here we go. Paragraph, we all started more productive. So this is similar to that blog post wizard, but check it out, it wrote all this and it has all these different points. It even like broke it down into make use of technology, take action, track your progress. It actually put that whole thing together really well. If you want to check for plagiarism, if you're wondering, hey, did this make this up? Or like, is it just copying it from somewhere? There's a tool called Copyscape that's pretty good for that. It's very affordable. Only costs a few pennies to check. I'm going to run all that through Copyscape. And it's about 500 words, and it found no results of plagiarism. So just keep that in mind. That's original stuff. And now you could even look at this as more content, right? So some tips here. One of the best ways to be more productive to is to create a regular maintain schedule. It's good stuff, too. If you scan through it, the content's great. So any topic you put in here, you know, um, if we grab that... Where was it? The <laughs> ah, here it is. Let's see why sleep sleep matters. That's a different one. Yeah, let's see. Be easy to just swap that out. So we'll give that a second. Cold outreach. I showed you some of these examples of the workflow tools. It will analyze their LinkedIn account and you can tell it some details about your offer or your business. We had some fun with that and it will write that email. Recruiting is a similar one. The recruiting outreach, it's in the new workflow tools. And you can just tell it about your business, put in that person's LinkedIn, and it will write a personalized outreach email. Hey, Mike, we do these about once a week. Uh, just go to Copy AI and look at weekly demos for the upcoming schedule. Pull it up for you. So 
So here it is, the weekly demos. And down here, we do have a, one coming up next week. We'll add some more soon as well. So pretty much once a week, we've tested. We were doing them daily for a while. <laughs> we were doing three or, or like two or three a week for a while. We're cutting back to about once a week. But you can also check out the YouTube channel for all the recordings. So we have um, recordings and demos on many different topics to check out. Let's see. Yeah, you'd have to type in exactly. And you might run into issues I've seen in that case. If you put in too much here, yeah, it might run out. And so we're having some issues today. That's the only challenge right now is getting this to be more uh, stable because a lot of people are using these. So I'll check with the team to see what's going on with that today. I haven't had this issue before, but I have noticed that if you put too much, tell it to do too much, the AI just at this stage in the AI, like it's uh, the computations is too much and then like it times out. It did it there the second time. So try, try again or reduce how many. If you're trying to do like 14, it's going to get a little hairy at the moment and you probably will time out. But again, probably by the end of this year, you'll see just huge leaps and bounds in its capability. Hey, thanks, Mike. Glad that glad this was helpful. Sure thing, Paul. Uh, let's see here as a mom. All right, pretty good intro. Create a sleep routine. Limit caffeine. These are good tips. Try. These are all really good. I mean, compared to what we saw with the blog post wizard, I think these are all really good here. Make time for a nap and a conclusion. That's a great post. I mean, I would use this for social media content too. That's it's really well written. It actually just carries the thought. That's the the key and the trick with the AI is like, can it keep um, stay on track with the whole thing? All right, we're at the hour, so I'll <laughs> I'll wrap up today. I know we, I tend to go over sometimes we can have too much fun with this so try it out for a few different use cases selling stuff writing general content it's great for social media content sales content um, and just creative brainstorming have fun with it thanks for hanging out and we'll see you again next time until then take care and happy writing everyone <laughs>